Hey, it's the Ronin back again. Up to rank 13. I lost a star. I tried to play a game for work and didn't work out for me. But, you know, we're going to make that back and I'm going to get up a little further. The rank play season ends. This is the 28th, so it ends in two days. Obviously, well, not obviously, but I don't have the time to uh, just sit around all day and hope to God I make, make it to legend rank. I got work, I got family, I got stuff to do. It's not this month, but, uh, you know, I started my ladder climb a little later in the month. So maybe next month I can, you know, make it. We'll see. I will fight with honor for Doomhammer. Okay, not liking what I've got here. Could be a good bit of removal, but I think I'll go with my juggler for now and hope I get something more across to. Okay, this is going to be phenomenal against a paladin. They typically have a bunch of low health minions, low exact low health, mostly generated by their hero power. Now, unlike with the Shaman Hero Power, these are just vanilla tokens. No effects whatsoever. However, you can summon a virtually unlimited number of them. Whereas with the Shaman Hero Power, you cannot get a token that you already have. Or a token that you already have, sorry. They are tokens in the sense. But... They really didn't claim themselves. Uh, Paladins don't typically have uh, turn two removal, except in the form of minions. Harvest school. Okay. Little bit of card draw. He does not have the attack to get rid of this off the bat. He's kind of making him force, er, kind of forcing him to choose between knife juggling. Okay, that works out fantastic for me because they can get rid of his minions that way. Yeah, it could have been worse, at least with the uh, man effect going to affect it for a bit. There's my big bruiser back. You know, here's a question I've actually had on my mind for a little bit. Why the hell does Living Fire have a six pack? Does that make logical sense to anybody? Yeah, I get it. It's Shaman's big beefy mini, he has a bruiser, but. A six pack? Really? <laughs> uh, a few things they can do. This actually being Festival. So play a couple more minions. Lightning Storm to get fantastic value for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. I have gotten fantastic value out of this. Holy crap! For the crusade! Okay. Crusader and Mito. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh wow, that lightning is like this. Not just the lightning, the shadowing of the target. That's about to get better, if I can... What the... 
There he is. <laughs> now he can he'll probably smack face or smack that into this. And I'll respond by healing it back up and go na 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 and toss him down a toe. Okay. I think go part his plan. Reporting for duty. Alright, that's what contingencies are for. And now we just, you know, either kill him next turn, or wait until we get a spell power to him. And kill him with what I have. I've got the beast in my side. Okay, there goes in the fire elemental. He still has to kill at least one minute. Oh no, he doesn't have to. He survives. What's on the field, at least. Mm. But he needs to assume that I have a lot more than I do. Go Vargas. Okay. Yep, I'd do it. Give him the light turn or two. against the classes with the very efficient AoE removal. Hmm. Thing to note about the ranking system. When it goes to the next season, um, you get a slight head start sorts based on how far you got. 
most of you know this, some of you don't. I am a little too tired to do the math in my head, but at rank 13, I'm going to be well past rank 20. I'll probably automatically get the, um, whatchamacallit, card back. <laughs> Some of you will get this. I do. I grew up with that. For those of you that don't, go ahead and Google it. Snowball. Let the pain the paint. You might be getting more than a card out of that one. Well, that's interesting. don't have a whole lot of direct removal outside of their weapons. And execute, but that requires them to damage something. Which actually I think is at the manner where you could do whirlwind to execute on something. But not gonna do them a whole lot of good, really. The best bet would be a top wall, but I'm get rid of it. <laughs> Just have to do it. Ah. Yep, there goes my map to it. Smart. Very smart because I would have gotten two free damage. Oh well. Guy, but might just be he got a bad hand. More wind. Okay. Shield slam. Gonna hit one of mine. So yeah, hit that. Now I have two damage coming out. more next time. I would not be surprised if there was another whirlwind or a whirlwind pyromancer combo. I have seen those before, not quite as epic as the uh, pyromancer equality or pyromancer consecration combos. Silences. 
As you can see, this deck is not lacking in taunt. In fact, it has gone toe to toe with a druid taunt deck, and I actually, you know, made that druid run out of taunts. Well, I still had mine. Granted, hexes were involved. Not denying that. He did win that match, though. He's good on him. This warrior is not there. at all. Yeah. It, it's game over for this dude. He just doesn't know it yet. But, Lava Burst, even if he gets rid of that. I mean, I've got damage on the board. If I happen to draw another damage spell, it's. The only thing that could save him at this point would be double shield block plus something to get rid of this. Actually, double shield block would give him what? 15 effective health? So, yeah, that would save him. For a bit. This is the manipulator. That's it. That's me. I can't drag it out any longer than it needs to be. Alright, that's rank 12 then. War Song Commander. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Got time for a couple more games. Get that total domination going. Maybe. Knock on wood. So I've obviously played quite a few Blizzard games. I, in addition to World of Warcraft, which I stream when we raid Tuesdays and Thursdays, shameless plug. That is at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Again, oh, near me. And he has the Fireside card back. Good on him. I don't have a lot of free time in the daytime, so I will probably not never get those. Uh, actually, good. some shamans can run, you know, aggro style. I don't know which style he runs. Either way, this will be effective because those totems will have uh, uh, less than three health. So, worst case scenario, I knock off four tokens, which aren't actually a terrible scenario. I mean, there are some uh, higher ranked shaman decks. That do still run one bloodlust. Nobody runs double bloodlust except mutants. Again, win more card in most cases. In most cases, there have been uh, situations where you know, bloodlust was well, the difference between win or lose. But nine times out of ten, it's it's just win more card. The same could be said about certain legendaries. I am perfectly content letting him beat that axe into tokens that I can infinitely respawn. I have no problem with that whatsoever. That, however, I have a problem with. So let's. See if he's got any spells. 
And you got two taunts that your ex can't get through. I am double overloaded. Only gonna have three mana to work with next turn, but that is perfectly fine. I this is during beta before they did these ranks and uh, kept track of wins and stuff. I was a shaman player. I made a shaman. Well, in Arthur. Well, uh, wow, I made a warrior. Okay. Face smack plus totem smack. Okay. Now I'm left with what am I desperately want to get rid of? But for now, my own mana type totem will be problematic enough for him. Okay, that will get rid of his flame tongue, provided he doesn't drop down a taunt or two. And this is where a silence usually comes out, which is what I have this for. Yep, screw your silence. Once you got two more, damn it. Damn, your silence. I could get to card draw doing that, but, well, actually, why not? I'm killing one of them anyway. Not really too much downside there, and there's Hogger. A little bit extra cons. Um, if he's left alive, he is going to overwhelm the opponent with tokens. Not the best legendary, not the worst. He fits in my deck, it's all that. That works. And once again, I need to start playing the Tome Powers first. It would help if I wasn't running off of a total of, uh, 10 hours sleep for the last three days. And Lightning Storm finishes that off. We'll play another mini, please. Okay, X. Had a bit of a waste there. And now I I can see why he didn't want to do that. But, that's kind of a waste. I got bigger stuff to take the before coming out soon. Especially Hawker. You know. Army of Knowles, two twos. No, not that one really nice, but you know, just two two attacks you health. Here's where I play Ignore Your Mind. For as long as I am able. This is probably where he'll drop down his lightning storm. And yep, he's gonna kill off Hogger. Wow. This is why. Okay, that totem is gonna be dead. I'm not letting him get card drawn. One and done. That's, that's it. He did the same to me. Very good play. This part. And here is how you rid yourself of a pesky totem. Two. 
if my elemental is alive next turn. Brewmaster. Probably finish that off because he'll probably attack me. Wait, what am I saying? He still has a uh Black Knight storm left, doesn't he? The Black Knight! Okay, well, Lightning Storm's out of the question now. Good for me. Glad for him. Not exactly the original combo I planned with that card. And I have it for Injured Blade Master combos, as we've seen. That's annoying. Copying my shtick. Play him again this time. But I am going to be able to play him again. Which is an important part here. Granted, I did lose a taunt, but it served its purpose. Storm, so if you plays a few minions. One card for a bunch, yes please. Uh, we are fairly even, four health not that big a deal. My seal for Argus! Yeah, that's problematic, to say the least. Good hex would really be appreciated now. Lightning bolts. Not quite. Let's punch you down. You get that. Perfect. Over by one, triple overload. Now, two damage difference between us, not that big a deal, but I do have control of the board. Sadly, he has X. I was gonna say, he has more cards than his hand. Huh. Ooh, not letting that live. That off, so I don't want to stand here. Put this apple on your head. Oh, obviously, that's not going the way I hoped. And a lightning storm here would screw me. Okay. 
There we go. That goes with that. That gets rid of that. There we go. That's board player for you. Really? Okay. Of course. I do have three gold now, or three hundred gold, three gold. <laughs> three hundred gold, and probably tempo or miracle or whatever. That is two arenas or three packs, as I stated before. I'm waiting to find out what the price is going to be on the Curse of Max Ramus stuff. Before I start spending gold again, I know quite a few people who are doing the same thing. I am free to play, I don't use real money on this game, and I'm doing fairly well, I believe. I'm not stuck at rank 20. I do play every day, about an hour or so each day, at least. Um. That's not a whole lot, really. Granted, I've been playing since beta, so I do have a few more cards than, you know, people who just started. But, I'm doing about as well as the free-to-players, oh, a lot of the pay-to-plays, I should say. Pay-to-wins, as they were. And, I'll say it again, just copying what other people have done does not make you good. You don't fully understand their combos. You don't understand what an ideal situation is. You just play what they played and do what they do and expect to win. Now, there are some net deckers who they take a net deck and they will modify it. And make it their own and they know these decks. They play with them, they figure them out. They're good players. They just aren't really creative, in my opinion. They don't create new stuff, they just modify what's already out there. That is a lot of strategy, I've done it myself. And it's a great way to learn new strategies, learn new concepts, learn the meta, adapt, etc. It's one that's, you know, the only time I have a problem with that really is when it's your only strategy. Your only method of play is to net deck, even if you modify, and just go through. Uh, granted, in Hearthstone there aren't that many cards, aren't that many combinations of decks, and the cool, fun ideas don't always take you to help rank 24, much less rank 12 or <laughs> legendary. I get that. They're adding new cards in, there's going to be new strategies. 
hopefully there'll be a few less night daggers because of that. Just if it's born by the same opponent over and over. And okay. Got you. I see why you used the hero power because you can use uh, that. That's something I would do. I totally agree with that. Smart move. I've done that before when I've played Rogues in Arena. You try to extend the duration of the weapon to get the most out of the buff. It's just simple pragmatism. So many options. I have seen a Golden Valera Sanguinar, or however the name is. And golden weapons, very, very pretty. You all know I love golden stuff in this game. Yes, it's vanity, and yes, it's one I love. Uh, something, please. A lot of the current meta gets stripped up by taunt events. There's someone. This room doesn't seem that all tricked up. This guy's I will take three damage to place. Um, the reason I use Rock Fighter over Lightning Bolt 1, the Overload. Rockbiter does not have Overload. And if I used this, I would have had uh, Triple Overload instead of self. Which would have been far more restrictive. Second, this bypasses Taunt. So if I need something to finish off the hero, or finish off one particularly annoying minion, that works better. Hold on to it till I need it. Uh, nope, not the spell power one. So, there we go. Only got one draw out of that acolyte. That's most of the time the best you can hope for. Smart. Probably dagger to finish that off. Um, four health is worth like, keeping the minion on the board yet. I will really agree with that. Where's that spell power totem? Great, we used to do a turn ago. I got the best deals anywhere. That needs an option there. Into sap. Oh. Oh, And I do have another one, so I can deal with it. This is probably where Assassin will come out. Get rid of my Fire Elemental. I got the best deals anywhere. Okay, so no Assassin, right? That's good, I guess. That's not good. Of course, I can get rid of it. Evenly with lightning bolt, which is good. I'm not saying he doesn't kill off the totem. I'm going to kill off my totem. Ah, son of a 
explode. Okay. Sadly, he seems to have forgotten. He sapped my shield master. Fantastic. What is not fantastic for me is the fact that this rogue has eight cards in hand to my four. I do have three minions on the board, but he has one and a weapon. The minion he has is going to card draw up the wazoo. Sap, son of a. He returns my fire element to his idiot shield master. Oh, at least he's not returning it again. Yeah, I'll get rid of my knife juggler, okay. Deadly poison. It's been fantastic by your lap. I'm pissing the hell off. Oh, they've got to trade this up. This is our time, scrub. Okay. Okay. What else we got? Here. Oh, that's a plus one. Very clever. As always, pretty. <laughs> this guy's toast. Okay. Well, someone is checking over a gentleman there. small chance 
that it could have killed Leroy by doing that. But obviously it didn't. And really being an ass, just by powering them up that high. Well, that's it for me tonight. And if you like my videos, then like my page. Subscribe, because there's more coming. Good night.